This is my Flash Forge Creator Pro, uh, which isn't easy to say when you're drunk. Anyway, uh, I decided to take it apart for servicing it because I'm having a few irregularities on, on print. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but you can see the bottom focus you f On the bottom bit here, it's not bad print here. And then suddenly there, it goes to terrible print. And that's all rough. So I figured out, I think anyway, I figured out the reason. It's because I've got play on the, um, is it the X axis? No, the Y axis. The X axis, I think, is that way. Y axis is forward, backwards, and the Z axis is up, down. Um, I noticed that the back belt, uh, which is attached to this stepper motor, was loose. So I've got to tighten that. And also, I've noticed what I'll, I'm going to go and try and show you now. On here, we have the carriage, which has got. Uh, as you can see, it's got linear bearings which go across there, like that. Now that attaches, that sits on there, and then that goes onto there, and then you have to push it down so bloody hard, it's very hard to get it apart. Now, the one thing is, you would have thought with the linear bearings which turn very freely like that, both of them turn very freely, you would have thought that this would be floppy, but it isn't. Uh, what's happened is, is these are slightly um, not lined up because of this piece of plastic, it's actually pushing them offline. And also, I've got to try and show you this with one hand. If I line that bearing up there and that bearing up there, right, let's get rid of that bearing. And I'll push that down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but watch this bracket here. As I move, as I put the pressure on there, you can see it moves. And the reason is because this thing is actually too big. It's too big that way, and it also bows the uh, the bearings, knocks them out of track. You can see the bar moving. It's not too. It's free in the middle. As soon as you get here, listen. goes all grunchy. Now it's always been like that, but these bearings are free. So what I'm going to try and do is modify this to stop that thing from actually binding so much, because uh, these bearings aren't worn, they're nice and tight, so they'll be okay. So I've got to modify this thing here, somehow. Don't know yet. This thing is the... Um is it the y-axis carriage? Um, basically it sits, which way does it sit? There. It sits like that there, and it goes like that. So the two X ones go in there. Now I looked at this, and this bit here was actually bent inwards. It was quite bad actually, so I've got some loads of heat on it, and I've actually managed to bend the plastic out so hopefully that will actually straighten the two um, carriage bars up. Um, I hope anyway. It's not the cleanest of jobs. I had to really, really eat that up. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm going to put it back together now. And see, as you can see, it's all... <laughs> oh, a jigsaw puzzle or what? Heating it up and bending it didn't work. So... Uh, where are we? Here. You see this bar? Oh, hang on. See this bar here? This is actually a fiberglass bar that I've just cut to size and I've wedged it so as it splays those two points out a bit. So now, this thing moves. I think the bearings are a bit knackered because of that actually being too tight on that edge. 
but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. I can move that now with one finger. That used to be, it used to stop there and it was so hard to get it past there, it was ridiculous. So I may have to get some more bearings for it now. Linear bearings ain't a lot, but I'm going to try it, see how it goes now. Because that's a hell of a lot better. I've just got to plumb everything in there. Do the belts and God knows what, put the motors back in and put the carriage head back on or whatever. Lovely. Scratch that idea. I forgot that the actual, um, what is it, the Y X axis, sorry, the X axis motor goes there where I put that bar. So, what I'm going to do, and what I could have done in the first place, is simply <laughs> get a piece of plastic. Obviously, I've got to leave it out, but I'm going to wedge that underneath there just to bring that out. So, it's, I mean, that's tight, I'm that tight. So that's all I need to do is just lever that, just to bring that out. Um, and that's it. It's going to be hard to show you this, but this is the extruder, um, which I've taken the left hand um, stepper motor and the fan, and I've left the extruder actually in there, as you can see. Uh, the reason being is, this thing is quite heavy. Now I only actually use the right hand side, um, I don't use dual extruders at all anyway, so I took it off. And the weight saving um, on the head is quite big actually, um, it used to sag in the middle, uh, but it doesn't anymore, so you know, you have to use the right hand one, you can't use the left hand one because the sensor, the stop sensor is on the right, which is actually what the motor butts up against. So if you take the left one off, and it just makes a right racket. Anyway, so I've got these um, new extruder nozzles. Uh, these are actually half a mil nozzle, which I'm going to be using, which obviously goes into there. Instead of using the 0.4 mil, which is the standard one, I'm going to be using half mil because I like to do transparencies. Um, and the thicker the layer, the more transparent you can actually get it. So I'm going to be doing printing in, in 400 micron instead of 200. Now, if I put that there a minute, every time I change the head, I change the PTFE tube, um, which this is, I think it was about two quid for this. So you change that, cut it for about, about that long. Don't know, can't remember. There's the original one. And I put some new PTFE tube in because it's so cheap, you may as well when you change the head. The other little thing that I added was a, a power connector for the um, extruder fan. Uh, so as you, when you take this thing apart, you can take, you can completely remove the fan. Um, top screws, left them out. Don't need them. So that can just be simply unplugged like that, and then you can take the whole thing out. Makes it a lot easier. I've had this for um, six months now. Um, would I buy another one? Absolutely. Niggling problems, you know, you get through all the teething problems, all the setup and everything else, but after that it's absolutely superb. Um, I started off with the uh, Replicator G, which is what, what it basically comes with, which is crap. So then I went on to uh, make a bot, make aware or whatever it is. Yeah, make aware desktop. Um, and now I've invested in um, Simplify 3D. So this combined with Simplify 3D, if you want a decent printer, save your pennies and get one. Oh, incidentally, I also uh, fitted, uh, fitted the glass bed to it, which I use Captain Tape on it. Believe it or not, that is Captain Tape, which gives you a glass finish on the underside of everything. 
Uh, if you want to know how to fit captain tape onto a piece of glass, just let me know and I'll do another video on that one. It is quite easy, believe it or not. And I'll try and show you the final thing that I did. Uh, I did this quite a while ago actually. Um, these lights, you know, they're, they're, they're okay, but I put a, um, I think it's a 60 watt um, LED rail on the top here, underneath, which I can't show you, but it shows up a lot better. So I'm going to try and do a time lapse video now. Fingers crossed it'll look alright. So here's two pieces. Uh, this was one that I did before I serviced it. And you can see that it starts off reasonable and then it goes absolutely horrible at the top. All lines everywhere as you can see. And this is after I've serviced it. It's much much smoother. I've still got to um, do the bearings on it. Um, I've actually got some polymer bearings, I think they are, or something. Uh, so hopefully that will get rid of all the linear bearing crap. Um, that will take all the impurities out, hopefully anyway. I'll have to see when they come. I might do a, a tear down and a rebuild on how to actually in install the polymer bearings. Um, but apparently it gets rid of all the play so so there's your comparison if I can get them lined up this one is much better although it's not as shiny transparency wise not much in it really but that one is much better quality so there you go Service your printer, look after it, and it'll look after you. This is my Flash Forge Creator plug. Heating it up and didn't um, be f bollocks.